guys, welcome back to my channel. So Valentine's Day was this past Sunday and it was an awesome day for us. We had a ton of family and friends over and it was just a really good time. And my husband gave me the sweetest gift. So I've been on like this health and kind of weight loss journey recently. And I've been craving cake like nobody's business. Like I've been really good, I haven't had any cake, but I've obviously been craving it like a mad woman. So for Valentine's Day, my husband got me the original Glam Glow face mask, which is one of my favorites. And then in the box, he also put this little package of Ding Dongs because every time I tell him that I want cake, I'm like, I just want cake, but I want like little mini cakes so that they're not like super bad. So his idea of little mini cakes with Ding Dongs and I thought that was so sweet and thoughtful. And then the best part of my gift was that he took me to Sephora at Downtown Disney and gave me his credit card and was like, have at it, get whatever you want. And I was just, I was floored. I thought that was so incredibly sweet and that's like the best gift you could honestly ever give me. Like I was so excited and it was a total surprise to me. So I got a lot of stuff. It doesn't look like I got a lot because this bag is kind of small, but I promise you there's a ton of stuff in here. So let's jump right in and I'll show you guys all the stuff that I got. So the first thing I picked up is this NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. This has SPF 30 in it, and I just think it's gonna be really great for spring and summer. I want something that was kind of lighter weight but still had buildable coverage, and it's not gonna be as heavy as my normal foundation. I also plan on applying this with my hands, something that'll be quick and easy. Um, it just kind of gives like an overall, like it says, tint to the skin without being overly heavy and cakey. And then I also picked up these, which I was super excited about. These are the Makeup Forever Concealers and Correctors. They had, I think, five of each, five concealers, five correctors. I got one of each. I got a Y23 and then an R22. These are really neat when I was playing them with them in the store. They're really pigmented. They're really blendable. Um, and I just think they're a really neat concept. They kind of have like this little squeeze tube on the end. So you just squeeze a tiny bit out and then kind of dot it on your eyes. Or I think you could probably even just kind of squeeze it onto there directly. But they're really nice. They're very... Um, they're just very smooth. Like they're not like any other concealer I've ever tried. And I think there's a really gonna do a great job at covering up. They are a little thicker than a typical concealer, but still really, really blendable. So I do consider myself fairly young still. I am only 26. I will be 27 in May. I do struggle with under eye bags and really dark circles. And so anytime I find a new product that promises to help that, I'm all about it. So I saw this and this is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. The reviews on this online were absolutely amazing. Everyone raved about it. It says it is a three second treatment to look wide awake, refresh, and have it on hand at all times. It brightens, hydrates, and perks you up. I ain't mad at it. I'm gonna try it for sure. I think it's gonna be amazing because like I said, anytime I read reviews, I really do my research and everyone says that this is like bomb.com and I love the little dome applicator. I think it fits perfectly like right in the corner of the eye. So I'm excited to try this. If you guys want a review or a follow-up, just let me know in the comments down below. And then, oh, I was super excited about this. This is the Yves Saint Laurent color corrector in the color green. I get really red. I'm such a fair skinned person that even the slightest little blemish or bump or bug bite or anything at all will seriously turn like bright red within a few seconds. So when I tried this in the store, it made such a difference. I applied it like just around my nose and like right underneath my nose where I tend to get really red naturally. And it blended so nicely and made such a huge difference in my skin. And it just looks like this. I love the packaging. I think it's super sleek. And now I wanna go back and pick up the purple one for my under eyes because I think that'll be gorgeous. I've been kind of on a foundation kick lately. Like I've been trying so many new foundations and lately a ton of YouTubers have been talking about this one. And this is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I saw it at Sephora and I was like, why not? You know, I was playing with all the colors and I just thought they were so pretty. I got the lightest one. This is the color, where's the color? Ivory Light because I'm just, I'm a pasty bitch like that, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm straight up Casper status. So this is the lightest color that they had. And it actually, it, it looks perfect on my skin. It looks like my skin tone because I am that Casper status. But I love the packaging of this. I think it's so sleek. It's a glass bottle with just the Marc Jacobs name on it and then a silver band and then the black top. When you open it up, I think it's a pump. Is it a pump? Where's the, oh, no, wait, hold on. Wait for it. Oh, okay, so it's just like this little dauber applicator, which I think is really neat. Like just to kind of like dot all over your face and then blend it out. It's a little bit thicker than a liquid, but not quite as heavy as a cream. So I think it's a really nice foundation. I think it's probably gonna give medium to full coverage. And I can't wait to try it out on my entire face. I only kind of swatched it in the store, but so far everything I've heard about this, like it's, it's amazingness. Like we're gonna see. I might actually do a video on that one. And then one of the last few things I got is this egg mousse pack. I've heard so many girls on Instagram, on YouTube, on Twitter, raving about this mask. And when you normally see it, I've always seen it in like the little like individual use packets. Um, but I saw this at Sephora in the full size bottle and I was like, why not? I've heard so many great things about it, so I need to try it. This says it is a whipped meringue like mousse enriched with egg extract that makes rough, dull skin smooth and radiant in five minutes. I don't know about you guys, but I ain't mad at it. Like it seems like it's gonna be amazing. 
I love the idea of egg on the skin just because it's a natural product and every like Pinterest DIY you see for masks, they all use egg. Uh, it says pump a suitable amount into dry hands and apply evenly onto a clean face, massage and rinse off with lukewarm water. So you don't let it sit, I don't think. Let me guys know if you guys have tried this down below. I'm interested to see what everyone thinks about it. I just think it looks really neat. Like I've never had a mask like in this little like pump kind of thing before. And then last but not least, this, oh, I cannot even say like, this is, oh, I just want to eat it. So this is the Fresh Cocoa Body Scrub. Now, if you've never smelled this, do yourself a favor, drop what you are doing right now and go to Sephora. Because as soon as you smell this, you will be just as obsessed as I am. I even let my husband smell it when we were in the store and he's like, even if you don't like that, you have to buy it because I'm obsessed with it. So we got it because we both loved it and it's just, oh, I cannot say enough good things about this. It's a body exfoliating scrub and it's, it smells like chocolate heaven. Like I'm not even like one of those girls who's obsessed with chocolate, but I cannot get over this. Like, oh, I can seriously sit here and inhale it all day. It almost has also like a little bit of like a coffee undertone scent to it. And it looks disgusting. I'm not going to lie. Like it looks like, it looks like baby poop kind of, but it smells so good. Like, oh, it's really nice. Now this is, what size is this? I want to say it's probably about eight ounces. Does it say on here? Yeah, eight ounces. Go me. So it's eight ounce scrubs. You will get quite a bit of use out of this before it runs out. It is a little pricey. I want to say this was about maybe 40 or $45, but seriously worth every penny. The cocoa is just amazing. Um, and I think it has a bunch of other benefits that I'm probably not aware of as well. Oh, here we go. Okay, so crushed cocoa and coconut shells are naturally sourced exfoliants. The cocoa butter helps to nourish and provide suppleness to your skin. And the cocoa extract is rich in protective flavonoids. I don't know what those are, but I'm sure they're awesome. And then <laughs> coconut oil is known for its softening and nourishing properties. Massage into skin into a circular motion, rinse and use two to three times a week. So yeah, it has a ton of benefits to it. And I actually, I cannot wait to use this. Like I might just go hop in the shower after this, even though I just showered just so I can use this. Ugh. Okay, that's it, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching my little Valentine's Sephora haul. And let me know down below what you guys got for Valentine's Day or what you did. I love hearing all about it and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. This is ginormous. Like, can you see all of this stuff in here? So I did take a peek, um, but I didn't go all the way through it yet. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. So let's jump right in and we'll go through it together.